Well, I got into brewing about five years ago. It was always my plan when I started brewing to open a brewery. As most people who homebrew as a hobby have a dream of opening their own brewery someday, and I was no different. So um, yeah, as soon as I started, it was always it's at some point to open a brewery of my own. And we were looking in a number of different places initially, but Squamish just presented a perfect opportunity. There were some amazing buildings that were going up at the time that were perfectly suitable to put a brewery into. Squamish was just starting to change. The real estate boom in Vancouver was changing the demographic in Squamish, making it a much more suitable place to open a brewery like this with a tap room attached. And so um, it kind of was just the, everything kind of came together to make Squamish the perfect, the perfect choice. We're a one year old. We, we opened April 1st last year. And in our first year we produced about 2,900 hectoliters of beer, which is 290,000 liters. And then this year we're on track to do about double that. It was surprising to us that a, a much larger percentage of the beer was actually consumed on site than we anticipated. This whole like, kind of exponential growth and awareness of Squamish has had a really big impact on our tap room and how, how busy and successful it's been. Um, but now as we grow the tap room, the amount of beer we can sell in the tap room is quite fine, fairly finite. Um, so now our expansion is happening uh, into the lower mainland, Whistler, eventually Vancouver Island and, and elsewhere. We'd like to grow in Squamish. We're, we're kind of limited to a, a certain number of seats in the tap room right now and we're, we're in talks with the, with the Muni to hopefully increase that number. And just sell more beer out the front door, uh, both in the form of pints across the bar, growler fills and can sales on site. To get to Backcountry Brewing, you coming through Vancouver, um, once you get into Squamish, you'll be looking for the Walmart. As soon as you see the Walmart, I believe it's the fourth traffic light. You go left, drive through a roundabout, and then we are the warehousing complex on the right across from uh, the Toyota dealership.